Alright guys, so we are going to be doing a quick overview of the Goku and his friends are back, which is, okay, so that's how it's translated, I thought it was, yo, son Goku and his friends return, but alright, cool, so that's the English translation, I guess, I guess there's no official English translation, so this is the best that we can get. Um, anyway, this is going to be a really cool event, it's not like, it's not a huge grind fest, but it is a little bit of a grind, so it's, it's cool, I like it, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's also, it has to do with the story of Vegeta's brother coming to Earth to ask his brother for help against two of Frieza Force's minions, which when they fuse, they have the, when they fuse, fuse, when they fuse, they have the power of essentially Frieza, which is really insane. Uh, anyway, so this is the cool story event that we're going to, we're going to have to go through. It's only four levels, which is really awesome. You get a whole bunch of cool stuff. Every level actually has something awesome. Um, they're all easy to beat. They really are. Um, I will be doing a let's play on all four levels. I'm just going to go straight through it with whatever team I feel like utilizing at the time. Uh, level one, peaceful days. This is where you get the radishes. <laughs> radishes. Um, you get the small radishes and the large radishes. You need like seven of the large radishes. I guess they're hard to come by. I don't know. I didn't grind it out on the JP side. Um, and you need all. I don't even know how many. You need a lot of the small radishes. Um, so that way you can go into the Baba shop and you utilize them inside the Baba shop. I'll show you that in the Let's Play um, to get cool items. There's not a lot. It's not like the Dragon Ball GT Saga events where you have to grind out like 130, 140 times just to get all the freaking items. Items. If you want all the items, it's not that much of a grind fest as comparatively to the GT one. Anyway, level two, Vegeta's little brother, where you get the Tarble. I will be discussing him. Level three is enter Abo and Kado. Abo and Kado, so it's Abocado. Haha. Uh, anyway, so you get the Tarble medals from there. You go and take both of them on. Very easy. Uh, not that hard. Then their fusion form, uh, may fusion mayhem. You go up against them physical form, and you get a drop of Go Tanks. Not guaranteed, but you can drop anywhere between zero to two of them. Um, so that's really awesome. The Go Tanks can be fed into the other two base form Go Tanks. Uh, that is the agility one and the strength one. I highly recommend you doing that before you doke and wake in ears um, and probably possibly getting some dupe as unlocked because they are pretty cool cards. Anyway, before we go and talk about the actual units themselves and the support item, uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. Characters from Fusion Category have increased chance of an extra drop rate, so keep that in mind. So make sure you bring Fusion Category teams for increased drop rate. Higher the rarity of your cards, the higher the chance of a drop rate. Z-Awakening does not affect the chance, so that's good for you guys who are brand new, who are worrying about team cost. If you have, like, level 1 SSRs, then you could use them as long as they're Fusion Category to increase that rate. I'll check it. I'll, I'll do it because I haven't actually played the levels yet, so when I go do my Let's Play, I will go ahead and check it for you and we'll see if it does the little glow while I'll do the video. Uh, level one, you get the, all the radishes, you land them on, you get them by landing on the um, uh, rainbow tiles and a question mark gives you a guaranteed large radish. Make sure you land on that one. You can get it, seven of them and no total is needed. We don't know the uh, percentage of appearance rate, I guess. We have mission rewards, clear stage one with a fusion category team for one Dragonstone, collect 500 radishes. You get five, Gure, I believe her name is. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. A Japanese way, Gure, I believe it is. A thousand, a thousand small radishes gives you one Dragonstone. Um, 65 in a single attempt gives you a Dragonstone. And five large radishes gives you one Dragonstone. And you need like seven of them for everything in the Baba shop so that you're almost there. And clear stage four, five times gives you an additional uh, go tank so i recommend getting him to super attack 10 all two pairs unlocked just because he can at some point he's probably going to doke and awaken anyway gure the uh, actual item change all technique key spheres to agility so she is going to be good for agility nuker characters so that's awesome and for two turns all allies get attack and defense plus 2500 not that great for the attack and defense buff. It's a flat out boost like she would have been good back in the old days but whatever i mean it's it's cool the actual key changed item is really awesome i might grind it out a little bit uh this effect does not stack when used more than once so you can only use it once at a time uh not not a primary uh item you're going to want to utilize maybe for specific events like if we get another prime battle event uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the cards earnest resolve tarble his leader ability is key plus two attack and defense plus 20 percent when hp is 50 percent or above his super attack is galica and causes extreme damage to the enemy passive skill visitor from afar changes strength key orbs to agility key spheres i said this before in the video when i did the quick overview one of the data download that is really good that's why you want to grind him out he's a free to play key orb manipulator for agility teams oh my god that's so good uh recommend recommend getting him off the super attack 10 
just so that way you can utilize him. He's going to hit a little bit harder when you run him on a mono agility team. He will, he, you know what, honestly, you could run him on the, the freeze uh, stage, uh, the strength one, because that would be, well, actually, I don't think he has a strength one. Does he have a strength one? I, I forgot if he has a strength one or not. Um, but anyway, he's still a really good unit. Highly, right, he does have a strength one. Stage three is strength. So I recommend grabbing him. I mean, granted, if you have the technique team, you're probably not going to use the agility anyway, but it's still cool to have, especially if you don't have any keyword manipulators. Type to type is my favorite kind. Type to type has always been my favorite kind of keyword manipulation. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Brainiacs, the Saiyan Lineage, Respect, and Cold Judgment. So his link skills are all garbage. We don't, they're not good. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Maybe if he's next to Vegeta, he possibly be good, could be good. But like his only good link skill is uh, Brainiacs. Because Cold Judgment is defense plus that. You're never going to run him on a team where defense actually makes a difference. At least not in the current meta or anything. And Saiyan Warrior Race is still a flat out buff. So Brainiacs is his only good uh, link skill. Everything else kind of stinks. Because, yeah, Respect stinks. The uh, Cold Judgment will never be utilized. The Saiyan Lineage is only one key, which isn't that great. So, yeah. Um, anyway, max stats are HP of 6806, attack of 5835, and defense of 3717 with a 12 key multiplier of 125%. He's free to play. What do you expect? He requires 10 medals from the events, which again... Uh, those medals are on stage three. He will Doken Awaken into pure Saiyan Torrible. His leader ability will now be key plus three attack and defense plus 30% when HP is 50% or above. That's actually a bad leader skill because HP is 50% or above. He's cool for the key plus three if you're just starting out, but there's so many other units that you could possibly get with that key plus three leader ability. Uh, super attack brotherhood gallic gun causes supreme damage and raises all allies attack by 20 percent for one turn i don't know why they keep doing this but whatever uh, it looks like vegeta's doing the gallic gun with him i'll share i'll show you my power uh all right cool brotherly reunion changes strength key orbs to agility and he gives himself an additional 20 percent attack i feel like they should have done maybe 30 percent maybe 40 percent but all right whatever um he'll never never use him in the first run turn that's all there is to it, unless you're like running him alongside maybe possibly a Majin Vegeta or something like that if you, if you don't have any other keyword manipulators and you want the key. But outside of that, I don't even think that's worth it. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Ace, Royal Lineage, Brainiacs, Saiyan Lineage, uh, Respect, and Cold Judgment. So again, nothing really that good. Where did, where did he get gain in his Link skill set there? He gained nothing? That's it? He, he didn't gain anything? No, he has to have something. Um, that's odd. Anyway, max stats are HP of 7878, attack of 6836, and defense of 4265 with a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Again, just key orb manipulation is the best thing you can use for him, and he does supreme damage, so he'll be a good free-to-play agility unit. Uh, last but not least, we're going to talk about the uh, intelligence, Gotenks. His leader ability is Fusion, category key plus 2, HP and defense plus 20%. He causes supreme damage to the enemy, and he lowers defense. His passive skill, Test of Strength. Attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. Now, uh, for a free-to-play card, that's really not bad at all. Uh, if you're running, like, a mono intelligence team on the Goku event, on stage 3 of the Goku event, uh, that he will become a little bit more viable for you. He will be definitely doing a lot more damage. Obviously, like I said before, with the Freeze event, Monotech is definitely your go-to team for both of those prime battle events because the you know the, you could just destroy everything especially when the frieza gets his uh, fourth stage added when he gets that fourth stage added it's just going to make it even that much more nuts because uh he is an agility on that stage and the tech team will be able to destroy him anyway link skills are the same warrior race same lineage the innocence shocking speed infused fighter so his link skills are actually pretty decent for a free-to-play card Overall, he's a really good card. I can't wait to see his Doken Wakings. He'll probably be category key plus 3 HP and defense plus like 40% or 50% or something like that. You probably won't get attack added onto that. But he's a fusion category leader, guy, So he's going to be pretty good for the fusion category team that we're going to run up on this event for that uh, grind. Link skill. Uh, we're going to talk about Link skills. Categories. He's on fusion and hybrid sands. His max stats are HP of 7423, attack of 7352. And defense of 3848, 12 key multiplier of 130%. Look, well, we actually have a max potential system over here. Um, I guess someone did that, or I guess it's just something we pulled from the code. Total max stats are HP of 10,423, attack of 10,352, and defense of 6,848. So it's really low for our card, but he is free to play. They don't get that great of buffs. They only get like a two to 3,000 buff max. Uh, overall, not great, but um, if you want to do that to him, I, I don't recommend it. But you can do it, especially if he's your favorite character. But uh, I would probably recommend doing the strength or the agility one over that. Probably the strength one, because the strength one stay, uh, stays base form, if you like the base form variant of him. Anyway, he can be fed into, as I stated earlier, the strength and the agility one. That's what we were just talking about, too, just now. Uh, those two are going to load. This is the strength one. He Doken Awakens into another base form. Um, and then you have the agility, which will do which does Doken Awaken into a uh, Super Saiyan. 
So again, make sure before you do anything, because they will be TURs, feed them in, get them up to Super Attack 10. That will be a little bit of a grind fest for you guys. I'm telling you that it will be, but it's worth it because they will be hitting a lot harder. Um, but yeah, so that's that hybrid saying we're going to have to go over here and it says Fusion Catter will have an increased an extra drop. I don't know if that extra drop means on every single level though. So one thing I don't know, when I do my Let's Play, that's when we'll figure it out because I'm sure a little glowing thing will let us know <laughs> on what level we do it. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and um, I'll catch you guys later with, uh, with all of those videos. Thank you. Peace.